the National Review. Hello, friends. Let us begin. So many topics, never enough time. Ryan Lizza, did anyone, was anyone a clear winner last night, or did they both leave some openings? I, I, don't, I don't know if there was a clear winner. I think that... Um, I think Trump's doing, frankly, a more effective job in prosecuting a case against uh, Clinton's tenure at the State Department, not just focusing on things like the specifics of Benghazi, which is an issue that the people that already support Trump seem to care, care a lot about, but broadening it to what he's been doing the last few weeks um, about the overall Libya policy and how the intervention in there, um, you know, arguably was not a success. I think he's, he's a slightly more disciplined when he's, a, he's attacking her and, and not just uh, doing talking points that, that speak to his base. Um, but Clinton is extremely effective, as she has been since that major speech she gave, sort of dismantling Trump and mm -hmm. his sort of judgment and temperament on, on foreign policy. So uh, I think they, you know, they both played to their strengths, but she's Hillary Clinton. She has more experience in world affairs, and she showed it last night. So I would have I scored it in her favor overall. One area where she clearly thinks that she sees an opening to hit him on going forward, because she she's hit him on it twice already, and it just happened a few hours ago, really, while everyone was sleeping, um, the, the, uh, this forum, is the issue of Putin and Russia and Donald Trump. John Phillips. When, when Donald Trump says he's a better leader, far more than our president has been a leader. What? Do you agree with that? <laughs> Well, I'll put this out there. I think that Vladimir Putin is a thug and a criminal and has not done good things for Russia. That being said, what Trump did there is not uncommon. A lot of different people, a lot of politicians, a lot of people running for high office believe that they can swoon other world leaders. They can charm them into doing what they want them to do. FDR famously did it with Stalin when uh, Barack Obama was running for the presidency. That was on his platform. He could go around the world and, and bring back America uh, across the globe. It's something that happens all the time. I think uh, with Putin, obviously, with the, with the personality issues there and, and his track record, it raises some eyebrows. But Donald Trump is some a eyebrows. guy who The reason this guy is a strong man and he has people. control over his country is because he par partially, he has a horrible human rights record and he jails reporters. If that's a strong leader, then I'm moving. Yeah, well, I mean, not, not just jails <laughs> reporters, but kills reporters. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. John, you don't agree with him. Even if you agree with the fact that you don't think that Barack Obama is a good leader, you, do you, you don't agree with Donald Trump on this, do you? No, but I think that Trump, in his heart of hearts, believes that he can charm Vladimir Putin into doing what's in America's interest. And I think last night was a very good night for Donald Trump, by the way. Hillary Clinton Th has an authenticity problem. Those problems present themselves whenever she's campaigning. She's always shouting at us. She doesn't even walk on the stage like a normal person. It's like she's the next contestant on The Price is Right. So they thought oh, by on. going and sitting down with Matt Lauer that she could uh, show a different side of herself. I don't think that happened. That's why I think she was forced into doing Come the press on. conference today Look. to try to mitigate some of the damage for Matt Lauer. Go ahead, Hillary. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State for, for four years, uh, effective on the world stage. I don't think she believes she needs to reinvent herself. Um, she is respected around the world. So I think that anyone outside of the U.S. looking at that forum last night has to look at Donald Trump and wonder why would a candidate for president of the United States of America go on TV and criticize the American military and the American president and praise the Russian president who has done nothing but be aggressive in Europe, be um, uh, support Assad's murdering of thousands of people in uh, Syria? They have to look at this and wonder, what are, is, are, is America gone mad to support this? And then we have today on TV all over the place, Donald Trump's surrogates and allies not avo uh, simply avoiding the question, do you agree with Donald Trump that Vladimir Putin is a good and admirable leader? And the question has to be answered. The answer is obviously give no. 
I will give, I will give one point to John Phillips. On this. You are the first person to actually answer the question, and I've spoken to several of them, John Phillips, <laughs> so we do appreciate your candor. Garrity, <laughs> jump in on I this. I hope I get a sticker. Sure. You do. You get it. You get. You might even get a lollipop. Jim Garrity, did you? You might have heard what uh, that Paul Ryan has been asked about this now, and as Hillary Clinton says, every Republican should have to answer for it. Did Donald Trump do himself any favors last night? You, as a Republican who is no fan of Donald Trump, you notice the subtext of every Paul Ryan statement on Donald Trump is basically, <laughs> "Hell if I know what the hell he's doing," um, and I think he should be entitled to that because you know it's not like. Paul Ryan has a great deal of influence with Donald Trump. It's not like he's, you know, these guys talk regularly. Who knows what Donald Trump is doing any given day. The one smidgen of a defense I'll make for Trump, and I don't even know he was thinking this, but you can make an argument that Vladimir Putin is more effective at getting what he wants from other foreign leaders than Barack Obama is. Barack Obama always tries to appeal to moral authority, tries to say, no, no, this is in your self-interest, and some days it works, a lot of days it doesn't. The Vladimir Putin approach to persuasion is very, some variation of what we saw in the Rocky movie, I will break you. Um, and by threats and intimidation and you know, using polonium to poison people and hacking and things like that, the Russians are much more effective at getting what they want from other people. Jim, I will break you if you go over to because I'm going Jim. to break you. Jim. I'm going to break you, Jim Garrity, because I want to get at least one more topic if we have, before we have to get a commercial break. Yeah. Including just this. Let me, can, I just, uh, can I just register my disagreement with the fact that Vladimir P Putin has been more effective in getting what he wants for Russia over, the eight, uh, over his lifetime in office versus Barack Obama? Uh, Russia is isolated uh, and does not have nearly the kind of allies, strength, and influence in the world that any American president, Obama or otherwise, has. So Significant I, I do not economic think that is true, Jim. Your disagreement uh, is registered, good friend Ryan Lizza. <laughs> okay, Hillary Clinton, she has to explain, do a little more explaining for herself um, today after last night. Last night she promised no more ground troops in Iraq ever, no ground troops in Syria. And she did have to explain herself today. Listen. I said it uh, on numerous occasions, I believe it. I think putting a big contingent of American ground troops on the ground in Iraq and Syria uh, would not be in the best interest of the fight against uh, uh, ISIS and other terrorist groups. So, did she misspeak last night, Hillary? Because now she's saying a big contingent. And last night she said no ground troops ever. Here's what I think you're doing, my friend. Donald Trump was so all over the map with his craziness that you're sort of picking, splitting hairs to find something to criticize Hillary Clinton about. If Donald <laughs> Trump has to answer because for his words, so does Hillary Clinton. The, Look, Hillary Clinton was quite clear last night about her intentions about going forward with um, ground troops as, as a, um, in, with reference to fighting terrorism. She has said that in that forum because she knows that's what the veterans were interested in, which is, are we going to fight this war using additional American soldiers on the ground? Her answer was clearly no. When people thought that that wasn't clear enough, although it seemed pretty clear to me, she said it again today at the airport, clearly no, we are not going to put more ground troops in. But she did offer a plan and that and 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 a, a form of alliances that she's looking for here to address ISIS. What Donald Trump said is, "Oh, I got a secret plan." Or well, maybe it's not secret. Maybe I'm not going to ask the generals to come up with a plan in 30 days. These same generals, by the way, who he has said have now been reduced to rubble. So he's going to go right, find Hillary, some keep new a, You keep that secret for one second because we've got more. we just got to get a break in, including this. Coming up, classified security briefings mean you can't talk about it. So why did Donald Trump come out of his brief?